A presidential visit, even a campaign stop, is no small endeavor, as anyone who lives or works near <laughs> Eden Park will tell you tonight. But it was an even bigger day for one young man from Lincoln Heights. Nine News reporter Amy Wattis is here now with his story. Amy? Carol, Valentino Gray voted for the first time four years ago when he was 18. Now, ever since then, he's had the dream to one day meet President Obama. Little did he know that today would be that day. I can start to put it down on that end. This is 22 year old Valentino Gray. He has Down syndrome and volunteers regularly at Lincoln Heights Baptist Church. The church, the belt. Of our baby's shoes. Prepping items like these alongside his mom, Octavia, to give to the needy. But today at the clothing ministry, Valentino and Octavia had something more than clothes to talk about. He had a letter for the president. When he didn't have the opportunity to give the president his letter, he was very upset. And naturally, he cried, I cried. Valentino anxiously waited to greet President Obama this morning at Greater Cincinnati Northern Kentucky Airport as he arrived for a grassroots event at Eden Park. However, things didn't go as planned. But thanks to the White House staff... When the president came back to the airport, he would have the opportunity to see Valentino, and Valentino could give him his letter. His wish finally came true. Oh, uh, wah, eh, ba, 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 ba. He's good all of time. In his hand, Valentino held tightly a medallion. And he gave Valentino this medallion and said to him that only his best friends, his really close friends, get that. Did yeah. you think when he gave you that? Were you excited? Yes. He <laughs> helped me out. So I'm a good, good boy. And I'm a good man. And I'm a man, the best, best friend of all of our Nothing stopped Valentino from pursuing his dream, just like his mom has always told him. Now Octavia is proud that her son has registered to vote and follow through, and she's encouraging everyone, regardless of their circumstance, to do the same. Clyde and Carol. Hmm. Oh, that's a nice story, Amy. Thanks. And, and I think that Mr. Obama does have a friend forever. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. And a good friend who says he's a good guy. Yeah, that's exactly. right. Absolutely. <laughs>